Here in camp, um, you know, our, our optimism comes from the fact that all of our young players, more bats, more innings, um, some of the players that were hurt or didn't have particularly good years, their resume say that they're capable of more. Last year, as bad as it was, uh, it was a big learning year for us and um, for a lot of our guys in that one to two range. And we got a high ceiling. We're very talented, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, I can help speed that process up of uh, getting these guys along a little bit uh, quicker. So we're gonna drive into left center field. That's it. Well, Bradley back at the wall. It's gone. Joe Mauer with a walk off homer in the ninth. That ball's well stroke center field. Long run. Buxton still tracking on the track. Jumps up. Makes the catch. A spectacular catch by Buxton. Jose Barrios gives the Twins seven and two-thirds innings. 11 strikeouts. Brilliant here tonight. What a night for Jose Barrios. Swing and a drive. Right center field and deep. Way back. We're tied. Line drive to left. Gordon's there. He's got it. Mauer tags. Mauer heading home. The throw is cut off. The relay. No time. Mauer scores. Delivers. Ground ball. Should be three. Steps on second, go back to first, in time, triple play. Base is loaded, and here's the pitch, line to left field, a base hit. This will score one, maybe two. Here comes Rosario, he slides, he scores. Castro delivers a two-run single. On a night when Irv was just being Irv, a complete game shutout for the third time this season. Eddie Rosario, a three-homer night, and a fitting way for the Twins to put up number 20. We felt like the stuff was similar to what had been in years past, but maybe a little bit unlucky, you know, strand rates or otherwise, ball and play rates. This was a good opportunity for us to add a guy who's been really successful over the last couple of seasons. And leaping and making the catch on the warning track. A great catch by Zach Granite in center, making his first major league start. 11. Wow. And they're using the psychedelic balls here for the extra time. I mean, what are we throwing right now? We all know his track record. He, he's, uh, he certainly knows how to pitch. And uh, it's a nice addition to our club. I had a chance to speak with him earlier this afternoon, and he... He's tremendously excited about the opportunity to come over here. And that'll do it for Jaime Garcia in his Twins debut. He struck out seven. New York sent a pair of minor leaguers to Minnesota in exchange for left-hander Jaime Garcia, whose Twins career lasted less than one week after he had been acquired from the Braves only six days earlier. We just had, you know, heartbreaking losses to the Dodgers. Who knows if we win those four games, you know, we might not be talking about this right now. And tonight at Target Field, a 44-year-old man has got all 27 outs. Driven to right center field. And it's over the head of Santana. Escobar's going to try to score. The relay will not be made. We're tied at four. Never know. Maybe that pitcher blocks. And a block. Right on kill. Rosario drawing the block on Drake. And the Twins have the lead. Drill to center. Buxton back. Turning around one way or the other. Oh, what a catch. What a catch by Byron Buxton in center. They are in it. And you're sitting there around the group saying, let's shock the world once again. This is what makes a wild card. Special. Leaping, and he made the catch. Great concentration by Buxton. And that was hit in the center field fairly well. Long run. And he's going to play it off the wall. They're going to wave him around. The throw to the play, and he's going to be safe inside the park home run. Take a look at Sano coming out of the box. They felt something right there. I'm told that Sano left the game with left lower leg shin soreness. He's day to day. A three homer day for Byron Buxton, and Major League Baseball is seeing something here. Byron Buxton, folks, has arrived. And here's the pitch, and that hit him. Kepler got hit, and the Twins win the game. This month of August with her 20th win, Polanco a two-out, two-run, ninth inning single. The Twins' dugout is all fired up, and for good reason, a three-run ninth inning rally. Way back and gone. Lead-off homer, Brian Dozier to the porch and right, number 30 for Dozier. Back it goes, deep it goes to the upper deck, and there's a record. The Twins have hit their seventh tonight. Maytown's pitch, a swing and a drive, into right, down the line. Back it goes, that ball is gone, a home run! Rosario walks it off, setting shockwaves throughout the wild card standing. Swing a fly ball, left field and deep, back it goes, deep it goes, it's gone! The Twins walk it off again! Brian Dozier coming all the way around and scoring on a bunt. How about that to start a ball game? Fly ball into right center field. Back at the wall. It is gone. A home run. Brian Dozier, an eighth inning go-ahead three-run homer. Tremendous catch in the gap. Oh, my goodness.
this. The magic number is one. Nikki Delmonico trying to send the Sox home happy along with the Twins. Gone! Good night, Angels! How about that? The Twins are in the postseason. The yeah. clubhouse is going crazy. Danny, this is a just reward for a team that came uh. to the camp with a plan. They're guys who love playing together. They love playing baseball, and they're going to get to play some postseason. Yeah, they're, they're digging the champagne right now. They are enjoying what's going on down there in the clubhouse right now for sure.